In this video, we will make a pivot table with our precipitation data so we can find an average over 30 years. Let's open the file that we downloaded from Climate Engine. Precipitation mean 1981 through 2020. You will get a message that says the file doesn't match. This is okay, just click yes. Okay, and here's our data set. The first thing we need to do is save as. So it's not a web page. We'd like it saved as an Excel file. And I'm going to make the name shorter. We'll just call it name. And save. Okay. For pivot tables, it's good to have a month and a year separate from the date. So we'll insert a column for a month value. We'll do the same thing again for a year value. I use control Y, repeats the last action you did in Excel. We'll call this month. This will be year. Here we'll type in a formula to extract the month value from the date. We'll change that in a minute. Don't worry about that. Here we want year. Close. And I hit enter. Okay. We need to format these as a number and not a date. So we'll select both of them. We'll right click. Format cells. Here we'd like number with no decimal places. Okay, so here we have the 1 and we have the 1981. We'd like this to fill in all the way down to the end of our data set. So if we go to the little green dot on the corner, the square, so we get the plus sign and then double click, it fills the whole area in. The area is still selected, so while we're here, we're going to copy these as values. So right click to copy, and now right click to paste special, and we want these to be values because we don't want the formulas. We can't use the formulas in our pivot table. Okay, so now we see here we have formulas, we have years, Let's make this name shorter, call it precipitation. We'll go now to the bottom of our data set. It's always good to just review and make sure that the formula is captured everything correctly. On the bottom right hand corner, we'll click on the cell. Now we'll insert pivot table. And here's where we'll look to make sure all the data is here. This is the correct sheet. This is the correct beginning column and cell. This is the correct ending column and cell. We'd like a new worksheet. And we're going to click OK. Here's the pivot table. And here's how you enter the data into it. We're going to take the months and add them to the rows. Then we're going to take the precipitation and add it to the sum of the values. The default in pivot is to sum, but actually we'd like an average. So we double click. We can change the field settings here from sum to average. We'll click OK. So this shows the average precipitation for each month. 
we'd like to know what it is for the year. So we're going to take this, we're going to copy it. I'm using Control C. We'll go to a new page, and we'll paste it here. I'm using Control V. We'll change this to month. This is January, February. If I select both of these and double click, Excel fills in the rest. Here's the precipitation. And here we would like the sum. Type equals sum. We'll add this. And the value for average annual precipitation in Prey Vang is 1,413 millimeters, which is about 1.4 meters. Okay. Now, if we would like to look at precipitation on a chart, we go back to the pivot table. Here we can insert a chart. We want a 2D column. And here we can see the average precipitation for each month. So very little in the beginning of the year, January, February. There's more as the year goes on, and on average the most is in October. If we'd like to look at precipitation over time, we can change the months into the legend, and we can add the years to the axis, and this gives us a long time. Now here, we can choose to look at some years or all. Let's look at 1985 and 1986. So here's a good way to move through a data set um, and filter it and choose what you'd like to look at.